What's up? I never yielded! And as you can see, I am not dead! Representation matters. Get out! Yo! Yo! We hear it all the time, but what does it really mean or look like? In an ad campaign, Netflix says when it comes to black leading actors, directors, writers, and producers, they are representing. And it's not a moment. It's a movement. Famous directors Ava DuVernay and Spike Lee help introduce the streaming services initiative called Strong Black Lead. We're not a genre because there's no one way to be black. It's a promise to represent black audiences authentically, which hasn't always been Hollywood's priority. Mommy, here's for Scarlett's Vickles. You can take that all back to the kitchen. I won't need to buy it. Oh, yes, and you is. You was going to eat every mouthful of this. Early pictures of black people in entertainment included criminals, slaves, nannies, servants, blackface, or just plain ignorance. But from the mid-1910s to the 1930s, Duke University says some film companies had a sort of revelation, if you will. They dedicated themselves to creating productions with, quote, all colored casts. They promised to write positive, diverse roles. After many black people moved from the South to urban areas, Hollywood seemed to be adjusting to the country's changes. In fact, what was called the race movie genre only displayed black people in a positive light. But eventually, the idea of black people in those roles was no longer marketable. Duke says an all-black production company failed because of the lack of commercial appeal to broader, a.k.a. white, audiences. There are a lot of people who live in your neighborhood who choose not to get on that bus. What do they choose to do? They choose to go out and sell drugs. They choose to go out and kill people. They choose to do a lot of other things, but they choose not to get on that bus. Commercial appeal like the infamous white savior complex. Teen Vogue defining it as movies that promote colonialism in a sense. Because people of color need white people to save them. They called it Oscar bait, which brings me to my next point. But I think it sucks that if black people want Academy Awards, we can't just make movies about anything but slavery. No, 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 no. We can make any movie we want. We just have to trick white people into thinking the movie is about slavery. <laughs> Cue the hashtag Oscar so white in 2016. For the second year in a row, USA Today reported all 20 actors nominated for a lead or supporting acting Oscar, yeah, they were white. And black actors weren't having it. We no longer need to ask to be invited anywhere. Some boycotted the award show and demanded change. The Academy promised to diversify in race and gender by 2020. We can't talk about representation without taking a trip to Wakanda. Black Panther was proof diversity sells. Forbes said it made $700 million nationally, more than a billion worldwide. It seems Black Hollywood is hopeful Netflix can represent for Black people alongside other big dogs in the industry working to do the same. So let's hope this trend can and will eventually turn into a way of life. Let everybody know and suckers be warned that this is the outcome when you mess with bullhorn.